Welcome back. As you can see from the previous video, we are on the latest Realme UI, which is uh, F12, whatever I don't know, but it is uh, RMX3370 13.1.0.601. Will be flashing Evo X, the latest, which came just uh, two to three days before. That will be under uh, 14, I guess. This is under 13 update, which we currently have. But as you know, Realme UI is just uh, a copy of Color OS which is on the oppo and on the oneplus as well so anyways uh, let's directly reboot to recovery and from there we'll see how we'll do all that so first of all go to magisk you must have magisk guys if you don't have it then you will face a lot of issues now just uh, click on reboot to recovery okay let it reboot it takes some time guys so don't worry have patience also if you are on the latest firmware you don't need to flash any extra firmware like i am on the latest rui update that is f12 or whatever i don't know that is ex01 that's what it calls so you don't need to flash anything just to flash the rom format data and it will boot uh and it will boot to however this uh, yellow state will uh, remain as there is no removal for this uh, orange state in the latest uh, i mean the latest firmware like the one which uh, i will i am on right now like the ex01 uh, if you will be using that then your orange state will say but if you use any older one like f10 f8 or whatever however f10 is recommended on every rom so now i'm saying of the current scenario now let's we have uh, booted into Trilo RB. let's go to install as you can see i have the magisk here let's go to compressed first you will go and uh, you can see the name is uh, evolution bitra it is the latest one so we'll just flash it okay you don't need guys uh, firmware as you have the latest stock firmware so it will take some time guys as uh, it is android 14 oh, always come from the latest realme ui it is uh, good however battery backup will be poor i know that i have tried the previous version of this like the 8.0 version it is somewhat like 8.0.2 something like that i don't recall but uh, that's what the version is however you can see the security patch is the latest november one so this is uh, really nice it'll take some time guys have some patience uh, yeah you need to be on the latest uh, realme ui update you need to have twrp recovery and you need magisk magisk is really really important guys so you must have magisk okay it will take some time now oh, you can see my phones this bottom corners have got air bubbles i don't know from where they have got bubbles but yeah this is what it is anyways i have to live with it uh, so yeah this installation takes some time guys so have some patience it will be done very very soon after it's done it will uh, all right it will say fail to mount something don't need to worry just click on back click on back try to wipe uh, format data if it is unable to format data then you just uh, directly go to advanced reboot and you can do that let's see if format data is possible or not all right we have formatted data now let's reboot to system it will boot definitely guys no need to worry no need to panic we are fairly sure we are on the latest uh, twrp recovery it will boot definitely nothing to worry you can see evo x has started booting uh, so nothing to panic guys just follow as i am doing and you will have the latest 114 for you however this takes some time as uh, 114 is not yet that much stable however i'll be using it for a week and we'll show like what is the daily usage and yes do remember to change the pixel launcher it hogs a lot of battery like i'll use the launcher for now wait it will boot definitely 100 percent it will boot your formatted data so nothing to panic you can see it has uh, booted already so i'll stop the video for now i will connect to wi-fi first so guys we are now connected to the wi-fi now it will take some time to first time boot up uh, ignore the bar light coming i don't have any official source so just live with it anyways
it will take some time guys don't worry uh, just click on don't copy here it's not required and uh, you need to turn off everything like this location and all that mobile data turn off 5g for now uh, you need to be on total battery saving mode as android 14 hogs battery life horribly i'll set it up all later on nothing to worry i'll also now what i have issues is that okay let me set it up then first that uh, we were successful in doing that however uh, you can see that there is some orientation difference in this fingerprint sensor or the scanner which i guess will be fixed in the next few updates let me set it up guys i can't do it uh, if i'll just hold the phone so let me first complete it fingerprint sensor works however while you're adding it the screen animation is somewhat weird however it will be fixed in the next updates i hope android 14 guys uh, we will use this now we know how to use that so nothing to worry so we are on the latest version of evolution x now you can see the location has been turned on the bluetooth has been turned on uh, let me first uh, turn off the bluetooth now i need to give wi-fi so that i can turn it off i mean the location mostly nfc is off by default i mean it's broken so it's, there is no need to be worried about it anyways let's close it uh, let's see what we are on about gt neo 2 device name uh, is fine i don't need it android 48 you can see evolution x bitra uh, yeah anyways it's done let's go to developer options so what i'll be doing is where is the developer options yeah first of all the first thing i do is i turn on usb debugging it's what i need it personally then what i do is i decrease the dpi it's horrible like it would be in 360 what's looks so big which is not what my type so i'll give it 500 that's what i do evolution x is uh, now installed guys let's see what storage is it taking how much storage so we have 111 gb free 17 16 gb has been taken by the system some apps were pre-installed uh, obviously there is nothing trash it's all of google uh, is he including something by chance any camera app? yeah he has included a camera app there is a different color app. it's bcr i don't know what it is we'll see it uh, when we try it anyways so guys android 14 has is here as you can see <sighs> i can see android 14 logo here so guys will it'll, uh, it'll take some time and then i'll let you know how does it so it is on the latest uh, big shot kernel i will update the kernel <coughs> as there are already new updates so so see ya guys sayonara thing let's see that do we have credulo rp with us or not because i don't recall <sighs> let's power off we'll go to fast boot and we'll go to recovery from there <sighs> it'll take some time guys nothing to worry i think uh, power off is done the phone has gone a little bit hotter yes it's fine because we have installed a new os it gets a little bit hot so as you can see we go to the fast boot mode volume down and power button we can uh, we're in fast boot now uh, we will go to change power off no recovery mode yeah press your key to select we'll go to recovery let's see we have the recovery or not if we don't have the recovery it will be a problem uh, we need to be on the little rp yes guys we have the little rp so uh, it's not a problem i can flash magis directly from here i'll connect it and uh, especially i'll transfer the magis file and i'll flash it so yeah guys it's all good that's how you will install your latest evolution x thanks for staying cheers this is a flashed magis uh, everything is fine just click on after flashing the first to download the magis uh, apk from the github then rename it to magis.rr 
this flash it like normal it will be flashed and it will report and then you can set up your magic then it has a lot of advantages obviously i will not tell everything you just you can google it anyways uh, we have booted uh, see you guys this will be uh, that's all for the video